Alan, do you remember we made the first stage of our bat cave a while ago? Well, it's time to make the second stage and complete the job. Now, if you need details of the story so far, make sure you check out our website where you can find out everything. Now, we've got our living room half done. It's got its TV and its stereo in there. And next, we're going to make our sofa area. Now, this is really easy. You need to get your hands on three boxes of this size. Now, if you can't find boxes like this, it's easy to have a little play with different shapes and sizes of boxes and arrange them so they can make a kind of sofa shape. I don't know if you can see that there, but Batman would sit on that bit and uh, stick them together and paint them or cover them before you stick them together and it starts looking like a swanky black leather sofa. And I've, I've cut little bits of cardboard out and put them on the bottom and they act as legs. And you see that sofa goes in there and then when the secret back door opens, you can watch the telly and you can watch Blue Peter. How good is that? Now, uh, once we've got the sofa area, we want a nice coffee table. No living room is complete without a coffee table. And yet again, we need more cardboard. First up, I've got a bit of toilet roll here, which I've cut off uh, to be a nice little short coffee table size. And you can cut a fringe along the top so you get these little tabs and they'll be useful for when you're sticking the top on. I've gone for a circular coffee table. Now you'll notice there's a little hole here and that's a special shoot that Batman can and pop messages and all sorts of things down. So that hole uh, needs to be cut in there for that and it will fit over a tube. Now I've painted it black. You can cover it if you want and then it looks very bat like and we're going to conceal that with a bowl of fruit. Now this is really clever. It's just a fruit juice lid and I've used some uh, coloured balls of plasticine to look like fruits and then I'm popping it into my living room over this, whoo, there goes my armchair, over this hole that I've cut out here, which is for a chute that we're going to put in as a secret chute. Sorry about that, my sofa just fell out, everyone. But that's what happens when you make things, isn't it? You lot all know that from home. Now, uh, once you've made the coffee table with the fruit in, we're ready to put the secret chute underneath. This is really easy to do. You just need some kitchen roll. And what I've done is I've cut it to size so that it will fit the length of the room, the height of the room rather. And I've cut out a rectangle there and I've sprayed it silver. You can paint it silver, there we go. And that fits in nicely there, you see. So Batman can drop any secret messages or whatever he wants from one room to another. Now, once you've done that, you're ready to add in the other bits and pieces to the middle floor. And the control desk is something that Batman cannot do without. So uh, I made this using another roll of cardboard. Now, if you can't find a roll, you could always roll up a bit of cardboard and tape it into place, painted it silver, and then I cut out from some stiffer cardboard a nice sort of table shape. And I've just stuck it on using sticky tape, and I've put another bit of cardboard there to secure it. Now we're ready for the fun bit. We can add on computer screens and panels. This is a matchbox that I painted silver and you can cut out any little pictures you want, a picture of a TV screen maybe from a home shopping catalogue uh, and stick it on and then pop it together. And you can make other little bits and pieces. There we go and pop them all into place and that looks like a swanky control panel. If you don't have little pictures like this you can always use little coloured stickers for little coloured buttons and bits and pieces. Now I've also cut another hole into my middle floor here and that's so that I can put some industrial looking pipe work and this is really easy to do. You just need to find more tubes. Uh, I don't know whether your mum uses aluminium kitchen foil or cling film but often they have a long tube in the middle which is like that size. I've cut that down to size and um, I can uh, just slot it in there and you can even use a longer bit so it fits through. There we go. And uh, it looks really good and really effective. And for other bits and pieces of pipe work, you can use other sort of tubes. That sort of insulation stuff, uh, which works well. And you can paint it silver. And these straws work really well. They're those bendy straws that you get. And um, they can be slotted together to make different sorts of pipe work. And you can just stick them into place and fit them in and they start looking really good. And I've filled up my bottom floor with all different types of pipe work. And you can also stick other little computer screens everywhere as well. Now next, I've just made a potted plant. That's just a lid with a bit of uh, plasticine in and some bits of green paper. You can dress it however you want. But the final touch is going to be this. And it's a bat 
cut out of black paper, which you can just stick down on your bottom floor. But you can have loads and loads of fun dressing it up. If you want to find out all the details, make sure that you check out our website. And it really is cool. It's fun to play with the lift and the shoot and everything. It's brilliant. Connie, you just play away. Now, details on the Batcave, mate, can also be...